Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss how we can easily create the watershed delineation and also create the drainage mapping. I will try to explain all of details step by step and I hope after completing this tutorial you are able to create the watershed delineation drainage mapping. So let's go. So for this type of map when you create so first of all you need the dem data just you need only for the dem data so you can easily download the dem data uh, from this website or explore your js website you can easily download the dem data or if you want you can also use this uh, qgis so this is the one kinds of plugin so this plugin name uh, is that open topographic dem so using this things you also try to download the dem data so here I already downloaded dem data. So now this dem data I want to use and further I want to create the watershed delineation and drainage mapping watershed area. So all of those I try to explain step by step. I hope you can easily get that idea how we can easily work with dem data to create the watershed delineation mapping. So let's go, we'll start. Okay, so first of all, you need to import your dem data in the arc map. So this is my dem data. So this dem data I just simply export in my arc map. Here you can see it exported. This is the dem data. So now from this dem data, first step is that we need to create the fill of this dem data. So how I can create the fill? So for that, just click on the catalog. You can see the one special analytics toolbar. So in the special analyst toolbar, you find out that uh, one tab is called the hydrology. Okay, just click on the hydrology. After that, you can see the fill. Just click on the fill. So input surface raster. Just input your dem. And for that, you just simply export this file. Suppose I just create a new folder. Suppose I put the folder name is that is Okay, just I simply uh, input all of file in this folder. So just I put this file name, suppose uh, fill, and then save it. After that, click on the environment and set here uh, processing raster analysis. You can see the raster analysis and cell size. Just keep as the dem tip. Okay, and further just okay and also okay. So now it's create the fill layer so now we find out that fill layer we find out this type of fill after that we need to create the follow direction so for that same process just you can see the hydrology tool you can see the follow direction just click on here just use this fill dem this you already created just input the fill dem and then simply uh, put here this Output. I put this output. Suppose uh, follow direction. Okay, I put this name empty. Mainly follow direction. Then save it. And then okay. So now it's create the follow direction. We find out this type of follow direction. After that, we need to work with follow accumulation. So for the same process, just go to the follow accumulation, click, and just input the follow direction raster layer. You can see it's mainly FD, follow direction, I put the name. And I put here this uh, name is follow, follow accumulation. Okay, then save it. And then, okay. So now it's create the follow accumulation layer. Okay, so now we find out this type of uh, follow accumulation, but it's not um, as this type of follow accumulation. So now we just try to reclassify it. Just click on the properties and further 
click on the classify i just keep only for the two class and i set the classify it is start basically this value depends on your location and game data so in this case i put here this value suppose uh, 3000 start and break it break value 3000 okay and then after that just apply and okay so now we find out this type of follow accumulation layer when the delineation we find out this type of delineation or scream So after that we need to create the basin so for the basin just click on the catalog again go to the basin you can see hydrology under just click on the inflow direction raster okay just click on here and select the follow direction just save it just click on here and then further just save it as a i put the save suppose as a uh, basin okay basin raster i put the basin and save it and then okay so now it's create the basin we find out that so it create you can see this type of basin so here you can see we find out this type of basin so now this type of basin we just need to convert as a raster to polygon Okay, so let's go we try to convert it so for that you find out the conversion tool from uh, raster raster to polygon click on here the input raster basically basin and further i simply save it uh, as i suppose it's a drainage or put the basin the basin So now further just save it okay so just i put suppose it's a basin actor i put save and then okay so now it convert all of basin okay you can see this type of things so basically we find out you can see this one basin this is another basin this is another basin so we find out the different different basin in here so now from here just choose a one basin so further we try to use it and then work so for that just simply click you can see the tool uh, select by lasso tool and i have to select suppose this basin if you want you can also work with this basin or if you want you can just simply multiply select these two basin or three basin so which basin you want to work so just simply work with that so in this case just i try to use this basin and i want to create the various and then now clip the basin from here so for that just uh, click on the geoprocessing toolbar and you can see the clip so i have to clip this basin so just put here basin vector and also put here this basin vector clip feature and now it's saved i put this saved it's a watershed and save it and then okay so now it just click and create this watershed we find out in here so just try to put in here suppose i put the flow and i do display it as a uh, red color okay so this is my watershed area we find out in here okay, this is the watershed area we find out so now further we try to extract from here the delineation area okay if you want you can also put for delineation area okay if you want you can also just put the hollow then you also find out this is the basin this is this basin you try to select and now work with that so now further we just uh, click on the hydrology toolbar in hydrology you find out that one option it's called that map algebra 
and from here raster calculator so now i take only for those uh, follow direction uh, follow accumulation uh, get at then 3000 okay just put the follow accumulation and put here uh, get at then 3000 okay and further save it as a suppose I put here suppose L Debra and then save it. You can bring in M. Then okay. So now we find out this type of things you can see. And uh, basically this zero is nothing. Just we try to keep it as a how I put it is the white color. White color and I put it as a suppose it's a blue color. We find out in here, you can see. Then okay. So now I create this type of you can see follow direction, look like that. So after that, we need to convert all of those as a scheme raster as a polyline. We need to convert this type of raster as a polyline. So for that same process. Just I simply go to the conversion. So in the conversion, find out that raster to polyline. Just click on here. So now input raster. So basically, we find out that this algebra, this file, and further uh, you just save it. So I put the save it as a stream. Okay, this is the stream or delineation. Just you put the stream and save it. And further, okay. So now this type of raster. Conferred as a polyline, we find out this type of polyline. Okay, it shows this type of polyline. We find out in here. So after that, we are just need to clipping our study area with this steam order. Click on the zero procedure and click on the clip. So in this case, input feature. So basically, I put the stream. I need only for the stream which are available in my basin, and clip feature basically basin. Okay, basically watershed area. And further, you can save it also. Suppose I put here this file name is that you can put any name. I put this file name, suppose daily nation, and further save it. And also, okay. So now it's just clipping with our study area. We find out only for this delineation. And further, if I just uncheck so this is the watershed area this is the watershed it's not and i simply uncheck this type of unnecessary file it is a follow-up just simply uncheck other file then it look more better so now we can easily get this type of result so you can see this is the dam and in this dam we find out this is the watershed and if you want you can simply add the color of your dam click on the properties and go to the i simply put this type of color suppose low high elevation so the red color just apply and okay so now you can easily find out as well as if you want you can simply increase the delineation size suppose i just put here this delineation size color is the blue color and increase the delineation or stream just simply increase so it look more better so just simply decrease this suppose i put as a two okay so now we find out this type of delineation as, as well as if you want you can also just uh track by marks with this dam data with your watershed area so then it look more better so for that uh, simply go to the catalog and you can find out that extraction click on the extract by marks so now we try to marks with our dam data so this dam data just input uh, feature marks with our watershed area okay just i save it so now we can get only for this dam which dam is available for my watershed then it look more better so now you can see you can get this type of things just uncheck it and further just simply add the color of your dam just i keep this type of color apply and okay so now we can create this type of watershed delineation and also find out this type of stream order 
and further you can just make the map layout and represent it okay so this is the process uh, how we can easily create the watershed delineation and drainage mapping using the dem data and further uh, you can also calculate the stream length and stream density so for the next tutorial i'll also try to explain about that how we can easily calculate the stream length or stream density or stream order calculate so these two things for the class i also discuss so just keep in touch with this study hacks and gain the knowledge about the geospatial sector thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe